the purpose of this recording is to show you some tips and tricks that will make working with Business One a little bit easier. For example, I like to create shortcuts for the windows that I use on a regular basis. So underneath Tools, My Shortcuts, and Customize, I can allocate out the F keys to certain windows. For example, I'm going to allocate the Inventory Item Master to the F5 key. So I identify the F key, go into the Inventory area, and choose Item Master. At that point, I can choose Allocate, and click OK. For a list of shortcuts that I've created and which other F keys I've used, I can go to My Shortcuts and Shortcuts, and you can see that I've identified the F5 key, as well as the F6 key and some other keys as well. At this point, all I need to do is hit the F5 key, and it simply opens the window for me. So something I can do without having to use the module and the main menu on a regular basis. Another thing people like to look at within Business One is the change log. So again, I'm going to call up my item master here, and call up the particular item. And oftentimes people are making changes to documents or to master records, and we want to be able to track that change. In this case, I'm going to change this from IBM printers to, uh, we'll just call it HP printer. And go ahead and update. And now, if I go underneath Tools and Change Log, you can see a list of all the changes that have been made on this particular item. And if I choose Show Differences, there's the change that I made today. Now, why are there all these other changes showing is because when I made that one change, it changed another of a number of other items that are tied to it. But what's nice about it is you can see the change that's being made, and you can also see who made that change. Now, change log is available on both master records as well as marketing documents. So any buy or sell document, you can see that as well. So if someone changes information on a quote, you can go to tools and change log and see what changes were made. The other thing that's neat about Business One is the ability to relabel fields. So for example, on the business partner master record, if I have call up a particular business partner, and as you see here, I don't need, I have a need for a second telephone number, so I can just relabel this field by holding down the control key, double click, so again, control, double click, and I can relabel this to whatever I want. In this case, we'll call it just example one. And note that I can bold or italicize the field as well. And now, I've relabeled this field. Now, this change is only cosmetic, so if I'm writing a query, I would still use the telephone 2 as the example uh, when writing a query. This is, again, a, just a cosmetic change, but what's nice about that change is it is now throughout Business 1, so I don't need to call up, uh, or every other users do not need to call up that change. It is, again, thrown, uh, put throughout the system. So again, use those fields to help with your training. So for example, terminology that your clients are using. Um, change. Feel free to change these windows to relabel wherever appropriate. Or in this example, there's a field here that I didn't necessarily need. Relabel that field and use it for something that does mean something to the organization. And then the last thing I want to show you is how you can identify what information is stored on what table. So in this example, again, if I call up the business partner master record, and I know that I'm going to write a query on this particular item. The hardest part about writing any query is knowing where that information is sitting. So in SAP Business One, we provide you the ability to go to View and choose System Information. And now when I hover over the table, at the very bottom of the window, okay, so I'm just going to show you where to look. It's in this area. But again, as I hover over a field, you can identify the table. In this case, it's the OCRD table. Now that I know that information, I can go ahead and create queries, whether it's in Crystal or in uh, the Query Wizard. Now, to this point, there's actually another recording on how to write queries in Business One, so you may want to look at that one. But depending on what tab I'm on, so for example, now I'm on Contact People, and now it's the OCPR table. Again, it's very busy down there on the bottom left, but if you look, you can see what information, what table stores this information in the address field. It's the CRD1 table. So that's a great tool on how to identify what information is sitting on what table, so when you go to write your queries, you can easily find it. So those were four simple tips on how you can make working with Business One 
a little bit easier. Thank you for attending the session.